Oh, well, hello there. My name is James, and today we're going to be going over Chapter 1, Section 1 of the Advanced Engineering Mathematics Textbook, 10th Edition. Me and my wider range of Expo markers will hopefully help you out uh, with this difficult area of, of calculus, uh, advanced calculus, and we're going to be going over more specifically in this video the theory as well as some of the example problems um, from that exact book. So, stick with us and hopefully you'll learn something. Maybe I will too. Alright, so in this problem we are asked to find the general solution of this differential equation. y prime plus 2 sine of 2 pi x equals 0. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is to get all of the y terms on one side and all of the x terms on another. That's fairly simple. Moving over, subtracting negative 2 sine of 2 pi x from both sides. The number one thing this is part of the huge theory to remember, as you know from, from uh, calculus in itself, is that uh, y prime is uh, merely nothing more than dy over dx. That is what it represents. That being said, this y here is dy over dx. equaling negative 2 sine of 2 pi x. Now to get, since this y prime here, it does contain the dx, as we have here, we can multiply both sides by dx. Do that for you here. Multiplying them both sides by dx, and we'll have everything separated, just as we want. And once that is the case, We can do my favorite operation in all of calculus. That's right. Integrate. And like I said, we can we can actually do this. We, we can perform this integration now because of the, the separation of these of d and x. So the integral of y is merely of, of dy is merely y. And the integral of negative 2 sine of 2 pi x, um, hopefully by this point you, you guys are familiar with it. We can do it on the side here. The, the negative 2 comes out. It's just a sine. The integral of sine, well, let me put this negative to here. The integral of sine is negative cosine. Keep the inside the same. And that's going to be divided by 2 pi. Remember, 2 pi is just a constant. And when, when you derive this expression here, due to the chain rule, it'll be multiplied by 2, y, 2 pi, and that's why it would it would cancel out once once you get the integral. And it's plus c. We'll call that c1. Never forget the plus c when you're doing integration. And th this is really the main reason why they did this. If, if you've ever come across a calculus class where they say to tack on c1, I, I know they mentioned it. probably didn't go too in-depth into it. Um, but we're about to find out why and why this is a general solution. So as you can see here, the twos cancel out, the negatives cancel out, so we're left with y equaling cosine of 2 pi x over pi. This, this c here, it does have this negative 2 uh, distributed to it, and since that is the case, we'll call it c2. Remember that the c1, the reason that we tag it on is because it is an arbitrary constant. This constant, this c is supposed to represent all of the constants uh, that could have happened. Because when we differentiate this this regular function, uh, when it's just y, since it's a constant, it'll go to zero, and we'll have no way of knowing it uh, in in the integral. So when we integrate, we add plus c. So since uh, I, can, I can tag that on here too, if there's any confusion, c2 is nothing more than negative two multiplied by c1, and negative two times a constant is just another constant. And just like that, that is your general solution. Again, it is general because of the fact that this is a constant. We don't know what this, this constant is. Um, so it can represent the uh, cosine 2 pi x over pi plus 1 plus 2 minus 100 plus 4.712 plus pi. 
you know, any any constant number. So now that we're done with this one, we can move on to another example.